Okay, in this module, we're going to talk about podcasts and broadcasts, these kind of live events or other broadcasting avenues that you can use in your business. Now, a lot of this is kind of very, it's very much a new frontier on the internet. Now, podcasts have been around for a long time. The word podcast comes from iPod. So as long as iPods have kind of been around or shortly thereafter, someone basically invented the concept of podcasts where somebody could have a show and it was just audio, you know, back when it started, but now it's audio and video, which is pretty exciting exciting, which I'll talk about a little bit. But basically, you could have your own kind of TV show or radio show, more like it, because it was audio at the time. And you would upload things, you know, after the episodes were made. And then people could download or subscribe and listen to those episodes, like on their iPods. They would download each episode through iTunes, and then they could start listening to it uh, that way. And they still do that. And podcasting has now become a giant business. Uh, it's just there are certain people that run podcasts and they make millions of dollars a year. So if it's something you're interested in, not only as a supplemental way to drive traffic to your business, which is kind of why this module is inside of the Traffic Secrets course, because there is a way to drive leads from it. I'm going to talk about that. And it can be a great way to not only build authority, build your brand, depending on what your business is. If you're an expert or an author, it's a really great way to basically just, you know, kind of reinforce what you do in your marketplace and you're standing in your marketplace. So podcasting is a whole thing in and of itself, which has some tremendous uh, benefits for marketing. It has, you know, just all kinds of opportunities for you to find new leads and customers uh, for your existing business, depending on what it is, if it's not too much of a niche type of a business. And then we're going to talk about live broadcast, which is a whole new thing uh, that's really starting to take off. It's yet to be seen whether it's going to be great for all businesses or how it can be used to generate traffic. But there are some interesting things going on with it. And of course, I want to talk about some of those with you and give you some considerations for what maybe you'll do to use them to drive traffic. So let's do a quick overview. Event marketing is becoming more and more important and you've probably seen kind of the popularity of webinars really take off online. More people are using webinars where they, you know, drive an audience to register for an event. And then people get on like a live webinar and then someone gives a presentation and then they usually, you know, sell something in their business. Um, or, you know, sometimes they'll just do a free webinar for goodwill and then, you know, try to just increase the kind of uh, relationship with their prospects through the webinar and through that content. But usually they use it to demo their products or to actually just do a whole presentation and then a pitch for a product. But it's becoming very, very kind of critical and important to marketing, especially for certain types of products, high ticket products. If you sell things in your business that are expensive, you definitely wanna consider using webinars. But event marketing period uh, is becoming more and more important. Now, events aren't only for selling. They can be great for traffic. And that's what we're talking about. When we talk about podcasts, you know, an episode is essentially an event of sorts, even if it's not live. Just like webinars can be pre-recorded, and it can be a pre-recorded webinar, but it can still, you know, be very, very effective. But live broadcasts are definitely an event. You know, it's like, hey, come get on this thing live. It's just like Apple, when they do their keynotes now, you can watch them live on the internet. And so, so many people, millions of people become engaged that they're watching this thing happening as it's happening. And that's the power of video on the internet and how far video has come. And really, all of this and how it affects traffic is really because of the evolution of video and especially the evolution of multimedia and the fact that our you know, our internet connections are faster. We have so many more devices that we can play this stuff on. And now more than ever, uh, we're really seeing people and businesses uh, create content that's really reaching millions of people all over the world. You know, you've probably heard of these kids that are YouTube stars. Some of them, you know, there's a guy out there, I think his name is like PewDiePie or something. He's kind of a comedian, but he does things in the video game space. I think he's estimated to be making like 10 million a year in income. Now, they call him the king of YouTube, and we're gonna cover YouTube marketing later on in the course, but there are so many ways now for people to not just become famous, but reach a large audience online and they could become famous. And there's a lot of YouTube stars that are doing it, but it all ties into podcasting as well. There are several podcasters making millions of dollars a year. So again, if this is something you're interested in, I suggest you research more about it because there's a lot to do with podcasting and I'll give you some resources for that. Uh, but overall with traffic, there are just some, some great benefits and some good opportunities. I want to talk about those. So like I said, live broadcasting is still in its infancy, but it does have some huge potential. You know, live is more powerful than recorded. If you have a pre-recorded webinar, for example, you know, and you send traffic to it and they, they know it's a recording, it doesn't have the same kind of conversion and punch to it that a live event has. And so it's no exception that a live broadcast 
will have more power and more kind of conversion response effect for marketing uh, than a pre-recorded thing will. It's just how it is. People put more value in live over recorded because they're a part of something that's happening right then and there. It's kind of like telethons, right? Like people would watch those, you know, kind of uh, muscular dystrophy telethon, telethons, excuse me, with Jerry Lewis and, uh, you know, things of that nature over the years where they'd watch on TV and they'd call in and donate. Well, there's a reason why they didn't just record the telethon and then they just reshow it over and over on different channels, you know, buying airtime. It doesn't have the same power and effect to get people to call in, uh, you know, when it's not live. And of course, so all the stuff we're talking about is the same thing. Live events, would, this is what's very interesting, are starting to get ranked in Google and specifically, which I'll talk about briefly in this module, is YouTube Live. It's very, very new, but now you can use YouTube to broadcast live. Uh, you know, you can run video on your computer or on a camera and you can literally broadcast live to YouTube and to whoever tunes in to watch uh, your live broadcast. But Google's now ranking some of these events. And we'll talk more about it when we get to YouTube marketing and ranking things in YouTube. But we're now starting to see these live YouTube live events get ranked in Google like right away, of course, right away, because they become live within, you know, seconds. And Google is now weighting some of them depending on how they're optimized, depending on, you know, the kind of audience they're getting. And they're showing up in Google results. So it's, it's, it's very interesting for us to keep an eye on. And I'm sure as the months and years go by, uh, you'll see me kind of updating this uh, content about uh, YouTube Live, about these live broadcasting things, and how Google and other search engines will give them uh, kind of higher value because people want live, right? They want the latest news, they want fresh, and there's no fresher multimedia than a live broadcast. So we'll keep an eye on that. Now, podcasting is an overlooked revenue and lead source by many, many people. Podcasting was thought to be this underground thing that was kind of just for certain nerds or certain, you know, just people that were doing it. But now it's becoming more and more mainstream. You know, I recently read this article how Apple's at this crossroads. They don't know, you know, they got to make some decisions on what to do with podcasting. They've kind of ignored podcasting in a way, even though they created, you know, their podcasting uh, directory in iTunes, which of course we're going to talk about, like how to get ranked in that and some secrets for that. So they built this podcasting kind of revolution. They created it because of iPods. And then they added the podcasting to, you know, if you look on uh, like iOS, like if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can see that, you know, there's a podcast uh, button, you know, an icon that comes on your phone, on every iPhone that's bought, on every iPad, you know, now on in computers and everything. So their reach is like 500 million plus devices that Apple has sold. People are one click away from going into the podcasting area of iTunes and finding like your podcast or someone else's. So it's a tremendous uh, avenue for distribution. But Apple has kind of, they've kind of gotten away from updating some things with podcasting. And a lot of podcasters and the podcasting kind of industry at large, which is growing, is really pushing Apple uh, to do some things to kind of take it to the next level with better analytics you know, better tracking of how many viewers they're getting and if their viewers are clicking links and things like that. Because a lot of those things aren't really available today. They're available with third party things and I'll mention some of those in this module. But Apple needs to take the reins and do a better job uh, to really build out this whole industry. And Google, interestingly enough, is now getting on board podcasting and you can get podcasts listed uh, in the Google Music section of Google Play, and I'll mention that. We talk about other directories. Uh, but anyways, podcasting, it's a fascinating thing. Even if you're not interested today in podcasting or live broadcasting, just at least make a note of this for your business in the future. You know, like for me personally, I don't have a podcast. We're, uh, our company's kind of in the works of um, building out the idea for a Traffic Secrets podcast. Uh, we're, you know, we're thinking about having someone on the team, you know, manage that up and even be a host or something and run it. Uh, it does take a little bit of work, but uh, as I'll mention in, in, in some of the content coming up, you know, you can hire someone to kind of run it for you. Uh, but we're, we're thinking about really going full bore into it because now that it's finally mature, you know, before now it's kind of been, you know, a little bit underdeveloped. And, I, and I've worked with clients and other students that actually have, some of my students have successful podcasts. They get a lot of traffic and they do very well with it. Some of them have podcasting businesses. That's all they do. Uh, and they've shared a lot of tips with me on how to get ranked at things. Some of the things I'm actually going to share with you in this module come from them uh, sharing information and knowledge with me on different things that you can do for it. And uh, But it's 
it's one of those things that even uh, our business and even myself with my other previous projects, I hadn't really done podcasting uh, too much. And I'm, of course, not afraid to admit that uh, because I saw it as just this kind of underground thing. And for the businesses I was working on, my resources were spent elsewhere. And for your business, that may also be the case. You may be able to get far more leads and customers for your business and make more money in your business by putting more of your resources and time into building out AdWords campaigns and Facebook campaigns and SEO and content marketing and a lot of these other things, you know, mobile app marketing, a lot of these other things I'm teaching in this course. Uh, and so podcasting will be very low on the totem pole for you. But if you've exhausted these other means, especially uh, and or especially if you reach kind of a mass market, like if you're in fitness or business or, you know, health or, you know, science or technology, some of these major category areas, uh, you definitely want to look into podcasting because like if you're in entertainment at all, it's definitely something to look into. You know, if you're selling, uh, you know, things on how to teach horse jumping or, you know, maybe dog training or you're doing, uh, you know, coaching for mortgage brokers. If you're doing something really niche like that, well, then podcasting probably isn't for you because the market, at least right now, is too narrow. And so, you know, you would be better served by focusing elsewhere. But anyways, even if you're not interested today, make a note of it for your business in the future because I think this whole area is really going to boom and grow.